Hey friends and welcome back to Lori's Crafty Corner. Today's layout is for the Shimmers design team. Remember by writing my name in the comment section of your next Shimmers order, you can get a freebie. And the inspiration behind this layout is using pink on a boy layout. Yes, I know it's just a color, but for some reason I do struggle using pink on a layout, especially on a boy layout. But I make it work because I noticed that in my April kit, I had lots of um, pink icons mixed with blue. So I grab this texty base paper and I just start spraying it with Heidi Ho Blue, Jenny B Blue, Razzle Dazzle Berry, and Cotton Candy. And I've already sort of prepped, um, like I've already picked out the embellishments that I'm going to be using. And I have these stamped circles and I just spray them with the same sprays that I used on my base. So I'm also coloring my own embellishments. And then I don't think I do it now, but later on I do color some doilies with the same colors. Now to add a bit of more pink, cause it's predominantly blue, I grab um, pink caviar and then I realized that my brush had black ink still so yeah I clean it off and then I just splatter pink caviar um, throughout the whole um, layout just to add another tone of um, pink then I go in with Pip Pip Cheerio and I do the same. I splatter it all throughout. And then I was like, okay, I'm going to, while I wait for it to dry, I look for some more pink and blue embellishments. And that's, that's when I realized, wait, I can use doilies. So here, as I mentioned, I bring in these two doilies and these two white hearts, and I just spray them with Jenny B Blue, um, Heidi Ho Blue, and I add some splatters of cotton candy. Oh, and my kids woke up from their nap. And yeah, so now that everything's dry, I go ahead and start working on my layout. This layout came together really quickly once I had everything, you know, dry. I grab some white tissue paper and I'm going to use it as my um, sort of like a mat beneath my picture. My picture is a true 4x6 pic picture. And there I do fiddle a bit around with the patterned paper. Um, my doilies are going to go beneath the patterned paper. And I'm also going to be layering those colored hearts, one in each cluster, because originally I was going to use just two clusters, but yeah, I went embellishment crazy again and started adding lots of other embellishments and really it, I, foam, I form like a halo or a circle or a wreath, whatever you want to call it, all around my picture. Then I've added those stamps, um, those stamped um, wreaths, um, three on each side, and then I start adding all the other embellishments that I brought. Now my layout was, my idea was to keep it blue and pink, but some of the embellishments have other sort of pops of color, but I, I just add them in and that's it. I don't add the other color that they bring in for example um, that um, th that sticker that says this is the good stuff it has green or green yellow pink and purple now I wasn't going to add all those other colors so I just left them la like that I just keep things mostly on the blue and pink side I do end up using a couple of the embellishments are um, 
which are sort of like on the minty side but it really works out together because the doilies and that's what that's what it's i mean I'm, I'm at a loss for words it's interesting to see how different paper textures react to the shimmers because you see the hearts you have big you have like a bold blue but i sprayed the same color on the doilies and they're not bold it's a more of a softer tone and in the end it really plays in with the lighter tones and the darker tones of the blues that i'm adding in embellishments and then here i'm looking i i, I knew that i still had this chipboard sheet chipboard sticker sheet from Maggie Holmes carousel collection which has pinks teals and minty greens minty blues because it's not really green I don't think and I use up most of it most well most of the leftovers that were already there and I just kept on adding yes I know I went crazy with the embellishments but yeah I just you know in the end I just love how this layout turned out I had a couple of epoxy shapes from Chamel's Glitter Girl collection. I do add a couple of teal butterflies from Vicky Booten's um, Wildflower and Honey collections, making sure that you know you can still see the doilies because I've made doilies before and then they just get lost in the layout. Um, but this time, I really want to make—I wanted to make sure that they were there. And then I just splattered a bit of anchors away just to get that really pop, like dark pop of blue. And by adding anchors away, I was able to use this Be Nice sticker from Paige Evans' Truly Grateful collection. Here are the close-ups. I love how this turned out. And I hope I've inspired you to use different colors. It was different for me to use pink colors, a pink color on a boy layout. And using all these um, wonderful embellishments. So yeah, guys, I hope I'll see you back soon with another process video.